welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this new model I whipped up to actually serve as a poor man's DRO or digital readout for Chinese, i.e. Harbor Freight, uh, mini lathe. So what this does is actually bolts onto this collar that, the, uh, that works the Y axis. And as you can see, you can spin it this way and the gauge turns, spin it this way. And so what I do is I've got the gauge um, reading off here. Now, what I had to do to get the clearance, because as you can see, this handle just clears this. So this is a little bit of work to kind of come up with this. I put a little M3 washer on here to kind of extend over so it catches this lip. Seems to work pretty good. I printed this in PLA. It's pretty rigid. I'd really recommend uh, PET G. I do most of my prototyping in PLA because it's cheap, it's easy, and goes fast. Uh, but for my more resilient stuff, I do use PET G. So I will redo this in PET G, but uh, this is pretty rigid, so I've been you know happy with it. I've done some experimentation with it. Uh, I am going to whip up something a little bit different, come up with something a little bit different than the washer there. Um, you know, it does seem to work. I've used it a couple times. It's okay, uh, but I think I can do better. I've also got a kit, and I'll have the link down below coming that has different ends where I can extend it over. So maybe I'll use that. Maybe I'll 3D print something. I'm not exactly sure yet because the end screws off of here so you can put different tips on it. So maybe I'll just put a larger tip or come up with something there. Uh, but kind of a long story short, what you can do is you can just zero out the gauge and then from there you can, you can kind of run it in, run it out, and so you'll have a reading. Now remember, you subtract half of that because again you're taking it off both sides. It's a round stock. <laughs> kind of a novice mistake I've made a couple times, but anyways. Um, I think this is pretty cool. So this along with the x-axis uh, version, uh, you know, pretty much means for, you know, under a hundred bucks you can have, you know, DRO on this. Um, you know, for the most part I don't use the uh, x-axis permanently on here. This one I'll use a lot more than the x-axis. I pretty much use that just to set the end stop over here, as you can maybe see out of the frame, uh, or at the corner of the frame. Uh, but outside of that, you know, once I set it, I mean, I pretty much just make my cuts and move on. This one, you know, I can, I can know, you know, because I'm going to have to make several depth of cuts. And, you know, I'll stop against the end stop here. But then I need to go in for another cut and another cut and another cut. And then I keep track of where I'm at reaching my target with this gauge. So I think this is pretty cool. Um, so anyways, hopefully you did too, so give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Thingiverse. This will be out on Thingiverse so you guys can grab it. Uh, I did do this in OpenSCAD. I'll throw the OpenSCAD code out there. So uh, if you need to change it for your lathe, you can, you can change it real easy to do. I made it parametric. Um, I also have links to, if you're looking to pick up a meter, kind of help me out if you pick it up from my link. Um, also, I have some other accessories for the meter that I found that are pretty cool that really work well with both the x-axis DRO and this DRO. So, anyways, don't forget, swag shop in the corner, hit the subscribe button and bell over there so you get the little notifications. And uh, we'll see you in the next video where we do something else pretty cool with the mini lathe. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.